Welcome back, number 10. Short par five, dog leg right, wind is off the right, so I feel quite comfortable teeing up here on the left and aiming way down the right. I remember the only thing that's gotta be in the tee blocks is the ball, you can stand outside if you like. And yeah, I'm quite pleased with this one. This one came off exactly how I wanted. Not very far, but it's how I wanted. In the fairway, I know it doesn't look like the fairway. Three wood here. I'm afraid I've thrown my right shoulder at that and pulled it. Yeah, that's not very pretty. Got 50 odd here. Ball is sat up in the rough, which isn't always a good thing. Oh, there we go. Fight as you like. Short the green. Huge disappointment. Well short, but I can save my bacon with an up and down. Part one, the chip. Part two, the short putt. Or not. Let's have another go. Yeah, of course it goes in the second time, but it's still a bogey. Number 11 wins off the left now. That, um, that's the fairway directly in front of me. It's quite tight, but I'm quite confident of hitting this fairway. Until I pull it again. And I'm back down the 10th. Not too sure of the yardage here. I've had a laser of what I can see and I've gone for the 8 iron. I hit a low punchy one. It's in the right direction. Alas, it's short. Now this is quite awkward. Well, you can see it's quite awkward. But I've played plenty of these shots at Tewkesbury Park, so shouldn't be any bother. Got this left for a par. A lot longer than I was hoping for. My green is actually faster. Well, that's another bogey. Number 12, long par 4. A bit confused with this because from the competition tee it is showing as a par 5, but from the yellows, a par 4. Now I didn't see this. I have no idea where it is, but I find it well down the uh, fairway. Should be hitting a 4 iron for this yardage, or even a 5. But the fairway isn't too clever, so I've gone with a hybrid just to give myself a slightly better chance. And I really threw my right shoulder at that one. Starting to come over the top quite badly now. Now this is a shot I love. It's sat up in the rough, so I'm going to take the sand wedge and make a full swing. But I'm going to go under the ball and hit it high on the face, so it comes out really soft. It's one of my favourite shots, and that has come out high and soft and won't release much when it hits the green. This for a par four. Gets a bit tiring when every single putt you've got is for a par rather than for a birdie, but such is life. That's three bogeys on the bounce, and if you include the eighth and the ninth, that's five bogeys on the bounce. Number 
Number 13. Wins off the left here. So I'm just going to let the, the ball go. I've come over the top, caught it out of the heel. So although I've hit the right shape, it hasn't gone very far at all. And finally, I hit a proper iron shot. You can tell when you hit it properly because it doesn't go on the wind, it goes through the wind. So I'm on the left edge of the green here. This for a bird. Needless to say, you can probably guess the result of this in advance. Number 14. When I'm really struggling, I take the driver and I play for a block cut. It doesn't go as far, but I, it's a shot I can normally play and hit the planet with. I'm in this hollow, but I've got a decent lie, and sometimes course management says, go for it, even though there's a big bunker between me and the flag. You know, when everything is right, you go for it. And it pays off. My first decent birdie chance on the back. And I miss it. Well, that kind of like sums up the day. Right, 157. I'm playing for the front of the green here, so I'm going with a 7 iron. I miss it just a fraction to the right. So I'm thinking, that's all right. But when I get there, it's bounced down here. It's, it's gone much further away. The lie is not what I want for this type of chip. But you try and make the best of it, don't you? And because the lie wasn't what I wanted, it's run past. Cut for par. I bet you can't guess what I do with this. Yep, another miss. And the next par three, number 16. I'm going with five iron here with the intention of turning it over and getting it to run towards the flag which was on the left side of the green. And I just managed to do enough. So, another birdie chance. And this putt kind of sums up my day. <laughs> I hope you enjoy this one. I was considering doing the fake birdie music here, but um, perhaps not. Yeah, I've missed the edge by a quarter inch. Hey, but it's a par and there haven't been many of those. And um, looks like I couldn't be bothered to put it in. Number 17, short par four, crossing the beach road, just waiting for a few cars to get out of the way. Wind's off the left, so this is just screaming for that little block cut again. I'm aiming at the left-hand trap, knowing that um, I'm not gonna go in it. There we go, really happy with that one. Not gone very far, granted, but you know, it's safe. Ninety six up the hill, some deep bunkers guarding the green, so take a pitch and wedge, make sure you get over everything. 
A little over the top swing again, that's why the divot's so deep. But you know, it's on the dance floor. I've put the camera up here because I get the feeling that you might want to see the beach and the sea and the hills and not concentrate too much on the pudding. However, it's another par in the bank and um, yeah, you can't sniff having another par in the bank, can you? Last hole, you can't actually see much of the fairway from here, but um, with the wind off the right, I was quite confident of finding this fairway. I was a little bit worried about the road. I wasn't too sure how far it was. So I waited for a gap to play. Quite happy with the tee shot. I've come up just short of the road. I've got 62 to a back flag and I'm waiting for a gap in the traffic. I finally get a gap and uh, as I go to play the shot somebody comes up from the beach, sees me, decides they're not going to wait, give it some gas and I got to back off again and the result is, well, the result is a no return because I knife it right through the back. And that's the end of the video, so thanks for watching. Please subscribe, share, give us a thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheerio!